has happened to us? Hi, I'm Camille. I'm Catherine. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the, the Gymnastics girls. girls. And today we're going to be showing you how to do a back walkover. This skill requires a lot of back flexibility. So let's get started. This is what a back walkover should look like. Before attempting this skill, you should already have your backbend kickover. If you don't know how to do a backbend kickover, click right here. So a good back stretch is, is going in a bridge and rocking back and forth, and another good one is going into a seal and putting your legs to your head. It's also helpful to stretch your wrist for this skill. You should also roll your ankles to stretch them out. Before doing your back walkover, you could try doing your back bend kickover, but with your good leg in front. When first starting out, it's okay if you stop in the middle of the back walkover to get a powerful kick. Don't put your foot flat on the floor because that's improper form. Make sure that your front foot is pointed. Then eventually you can do with your leg up. It's also helpful to be spotted so the spotter holds your back and helps the person kick over with their leg up. Make sure to keep your arms by your ears at all times. Try to keep your legs as split apart as you can. When you get used to it, you can lift off your leg a little bit off the ground. And then you could go to medium height. And then you could try putting your leg up to a 90 degree angle or you could go higher if you want to. Eventually, you get your back walk through. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Hope you got your back walk over. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Oh, so dumb. Practice your back bend kick over first. <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> Oh no. Wait. Do you see it blurry? Yeah, wait, is it focused now? No. Right. Hold Catherine. on, I'm focusing <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm focusing. Yeah, go, start. Hold on, it's not focused oh. yet.